Welcome to Free Documentary Uganda. We are dedicated to bringing high-class documentaries to you on YouTube with the latest camera equipment used by well-known filmmakers working for famous production studios. You will see fascinating shots from the deep seas and up in the air, capturing great stories and pictures from everything our beautiful and interesting planet has to offer. Enjoy stories about nature, wildlife, culture, people, history, downtown streets, daily life walking tour, world-class buildings, construction and motor cam hello family welcome back to another episode it's free documentary uganda like share comment and please do not forget to subscribe here to our youtube channel for more videos and today we bring you the eastern region of uganda is going through some major transformational changes in the transportation sector through construction of new innovative cable footbridges these bridges are strategically located in rural hard to reach areas in mountainous regions a bridge can stretch between 90 to 100 meters accommodating both pedestrians and motorists these bridges are being successfully constructed through a collaborative partnership between the Ministry of Works and Transport, Bridges to Prosperity, and Mount Elgon Labor Best Training Center, which is the first technical institution to train local engineers to use innovative technologies to solve complex transportation issues of the region. These are suspended bridges that we build across the rivers where we have been having problems of people accessing from one end to another. The designs are that these cable bridges can span a longer stretch, can last up to 50 years with better, with better maintenance interventions on board. In Bukonde sub-county is a 90-meter foot cable bridge. The Kama Bridge was officially opened by the Minister of Works and Transport chairs of community members who live here. For a long time, people in this region lived on this difficult, hilly terrain that would often be susceptible to the harsh conditions of weather, such as seasonal flooding and landslides, but not anymore. <laughs> Before the bridge was built, people had to walk down the valley and climb up the cliff to get to the other side. They would then use wooden logs to cross the river like this one. But then, when the water levels would rise, the planks of wood would be washed away, something that has killed many in the region. The Bududa Cable Footbridge, local authorities estimate that at least 10,000 people use this bridge to get to the other side for business, to access social amenities like schools and hospitals, or simply to meet family and friends. This place was not even motorable using motorcycles and others. You have seen some using them, so the business has increased in volume. <laughs> Most of the children tend to absent themselves because of the, the floods. There was a timber bridge. So when they, was tempt, they were attempting to cross the timber bridge, they, the river came and washed the bridge with all the children and they went. In Bukedia sub-county, work is already underway to construct the third cable footbridge in Uganda. The bridge is called Namakokolo Bridge. The technology behind cable footbridges is highly labor-intensive, meaning that many locals have instantly landed jobs on site. So for our team here at Bridges Prosperity, we're um, managers, coordinators, engineers, four persons. So most of the labor force and come from the communities themselves, so right around here. 
okubera wano nga nkola nga ko efuna ko akasende kainza kunyamba ko waka baba ana basome buburu ma yili somerote baba ana befe bos bey basome buburu inyala ya apaka mezikanga mubona muri nga kezuri kanya kama lesabi tinga chikwa moto lesabi tina ye wango mwana chwa tsirewa isomerota the beauty of cable foot bridges is their durability and strength the bridges take only three months to construct from beginning to completion. The initial wooden footbridges would only serve the community for a few years before the wood would rot and eventually get washed away. The impact of the cable footbridge is great. All the three bridges have been constructed under a five-year plan to construct 10 cable bridges over five years. Unfortunately, there's still a great need for bridges within communities. From our needs assessment, we have over 500 sites so far in one region, just like, in region. Share, so you can imagine if we move throughout the whole YouTube Uganda how many people we are going to I mean, touch on. But we need more finances. We shall not be working on two per financial year. Because if you talk over like five bridges in a, in a year, that is about a budget of 2.5 billion which we believe the Russian government can help, the Uganda government can afford. Feel free to share this video and others on your social media networks, Facebook, Instagram, among others, so as to increase its reach across the globe. Thanks for watching. Email us at gabbywater12 at gmail.com or WhatsApp us on 072-606-5123. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, comment, and please do not forget to subscribe here to our YouTube channel for more videos. Thank you.